hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today's video is a potion diy and the potion i chose to recreate is the black blood potion from the witcher series um mainly based off of the video games so this is the inspiration but also going to add my own flair to it because of course i am um if you don't know anything about the witcher the black blood potion when the witcher drinks it it makes his blood toxic to vampires or necrophages anything that can bite him and like take his blood um it's toxic to them so yeah that's what this potion is based off of so let's get into it first off i am kind of making um my label preparing my label for the potion and i have to dye the paper and make it look kind of old and i don't want it to look like white paper basically so i'm taking some coffee this is what i like doing to make aged paper i'm um, taking some coffee and just kind of letting plain white printer paper soak in it so now that i got my coffee ready i'm just gonna pour it in the this pan put the paper in it and just let it soak um a lot of times i would normally just put the paper in it and then put little splats if you want like coffee splats and stuff like that but i just want the whole paper to be brown so i'm just trying to soak it all and then i'm going to pour it on top i've let it soak for about maybe 30 minutes um and then i'm just going to pour the excess uh, coffee out and i do tend to like dry the pan a bit you don't really need to um but once i pour it all out i get my paper situated again so they don't dry bended um, and then I go set it outside in the sun. Um, one, it's going to make it dry a lot faster. And then maybe get a little bit of sun bleaching, sun damage to it. Um, but yes. Yeah. So while that's outside, I have um, this bottle that's going to be our potion bottle. And it was from one of the LaJoy unboxings. It was a salt and pepper shaker. But it was a terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> um, I'm not using it as that. So I'm turning it into a potion. But I need to get this label off. As you see, I've already tried. So all I'm going to do is run it over some uh, or under some very hot water and it comes right off um, pretty clean so now that we got the bottle clean let's bring in our paper from outside and start getting ready to make our potion so here's how it turned out um, I really like the texture of it but um, we're just gonna set it aside until it's time to put on our label so for the black blood I've got three options here that I'm not sure with, oh my gosh, I got coffee on. I need to wipe that off. That's coffee. <laughs> um, I've got three options for black blood. This one is more concentrated. See, it leaves like a black kind of stain on it, which I kind of like. Um, so I don't really know if I want to go with the more concentrated one. Um, it makes it a bit, look a bit more icky yucky, which is kind of what I'm going for. So I don't know. Then I also have this one that's not as concentrated and it's more liquidy. Um, so I'm not sure if I wanna go with this one cause it is, like it's still very black but it's more <laughs> liquidy and it doesn't like stain on the end of the bottle like this one does. So I'm not sure. And then my last option is this one that kind of matches the picture a lot better is kind of more transparent as you can see um, and there's black at the bottom so when I shake it it then becomes well there's a bunch of bubbles in it now but I think when it's full there won't be as many bubbles because um, I don't have it full all the way but when I shake it it turns black uh, but again it's not it's um, not as concentrated as this so it's a completely different substance as well Tell me which one you like the most. I'm gonna pick one and tell me if I pick the one you like um, or not. <laughs> so I'm kinda gonna go for a more, the easier one, I guess, that doesn't look as concentrated, but I still wanted it to be pretty concentrated. So I have the smallest amount of liquid in there to kinda dilute the ink, cause I'm gonna be using black ink as my black blood and I ran out of alcohol because normally in my potions I put in like um some alcohol some isopropyl alcohol but I'm putting saline in there instead and I'm putting just the littlest amount because the littlest amount will make it not as concentrated I did have a little funnel but I don't know where it is so here we go just gonna pour it in there Um, and I don't want to fill it up all the way. 
like I said, I want it to be kind of concentrated. Oh, see, literally, like, look, it's not really sticking to the ends. Like, but it is a little bit, kind of like how blood kind of stays there for a little bit. And then it's moving. So, I think I'm happy with that. And I think I like, I like it being about half full. So, that's going to be our liquid. I wanted to age the bottle. I should have did that first. But I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to age it. But I think I am going to age it a little bit. So let's get to that. Okay. So um, I did want to take some sandpaper to scratch it up and get a bit and give the bottle some texture. But I don't know where my little sandpaper things are. So I am just going to use a nail filer and try to scratch it up as best I can. These are the colors I'm using. And then I'm going to be using some matte uh, Mod Podge as well. So let's go in and scratch the sucker up a bit. All right, so I think that's <laughs> as best as I'm gonna get. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with some matte Mod Podge just um, to add some texture. And my trick for using a brush with Mod Podge and not ruining your brush is to always have water on hand. Um, and you just stick it in there while it's wet and it will roll off. Um, hope you don't mind, I'm using this little mug, Heather. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go in with Mod Podge with this brush because it like adds texture, it's a textured brush. Dab a little bit on my brush here. I'm like I have only about that much. Then I'm just gonna kinda add a bit of texture, some muck and grime. I'm not trying to do even brush stroke, breath. I'm not trying to do e even brush strokes, just, just to kinda get it on there in some weird places. So I think that's good enough, and this is kinda what it looks like. Um, a lot more on the top. Than I really want and so I'm just gonna kind of pat a little bit of it off and that should help with texture also because I still want to keep the bottle relatively clear just a bit grimy so and then I'm gonna go with the dark brown I'm just gonna Do that, then the light brown. So it looks like that. Then I'm gonna go in, kind of blot it. kind of blotting the product off because I don't want it so intense but I still want it to look like I said I want it to be still pretty transparent so you can see what's in it um, but also kind of used but I don't want it really looking like paint just kind of like it's been on there there's a few little things that have brushed against it anything that looks a little too intentional I'm gonna kind of blot up but I think that's what I'm looking for. So this is the label I made. Um, yeah, let's get it printed on this paper. So this is what I got it printed. I got it printed in multiple sizes, but I think I'm either gonna go with these two. Um, it's still hard to read, especially because the font I chose wasn't that great. Um, and it did leave a, it didn't print on the side I wanted it to print on. Um, I'll try again. Okay, so now I got it printed on the side that I wanted it to be printed on because this side is more white um, and this side's not. So I got these two cut out. I got this big size and like this smaller size and I was going to just see. I'm probably going to go with this one, but I just want to see if I prefer the smaller label. Oh no, I might prefer the smaller label. And then here's the bigger label. 
Oh no, I might prefer the smaller label. I don't know. I wanted you to still be able to read it. I'm gonna go with the bigger label because I want you to kind of still be able to read that, although it's not very readable. Um, so I'm going in to weather it a little bit. Going in with my stipple brush and kind of what's left on it. And just kind of getting it a little gross. But I'm just gonna kind of get it on the ends. Just kind of get it a little, little gross. ruined it a little bit but you know I don't care oh I didn't want to do that <laughs> that's all right it's black blood that's if you use it that's what would be on it huh all right I'm gonna stop right there before I go and ruin it some more I say that and here I am so I want to kind of get it on the edges that's why so yeah, I'm gonna stop there now. <laughs> now I let it dry and glue it on so I have time. I have my little wax sealing kit. Got a bunch of waxes. I was choosing a like a blood red color. But I think I'm gonna go with this color in here. And then, and then this box has all um some more wax in it. I use a lot of red wax, that's why there's more packages. I'm also gonna use black wax to wax seal the top without having a, um, a stamp on the top. Just gonna to be completely enclosed. So, I'm gonna add some foil to the bottom of this because once the candle gets a little too low, it doesn't really reach the spoon as much and it doesn't get really hot and so it takes forever for the wax to melt or the wax doesn't fully melt it's not fully drippy and I don't want that to be the case so I'm just going to add some oop, some foil to the inside and then I'm going to place the candle on top of the foil so I'm just going to put a butt ton of black wax in here probably more than I need but probably not also because I need a lot for it to go across the entire lid, hopefully in one pour. Now while we wait for the wax to melt, I'm gonna put the label on using the Mod Podge. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. So I'm gonna take this Mod Podge and glue on it on. Nope, <laughs> that would've been nice. There's my label. I'm going to glue this cork down. Do that so the glue will stay. I like to take the Mod Podge and kind of put it all over the cork to act as like a seal over it so that water doesn't get through the liquid doesn't get through um, and I haven't had a problem with it so far but yeah I like to kind of seal the whole cork um, I normally seal it with this and then glue it in with E3 6000 glue but I don't feel like doing it at the moment and th honestly this will be enough Now this is completely unnecessary, um, but like I said, I just like to do it. That looks like our wax has pretty melted pretty good, um, nice and hot and liquidy. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and pour it right on top. Okay, now that this is pretty dry, it's a bit warm, but it's pretty dry um, because there's a lip here, it kind of, you know, did that, which I kind of like, actually. Uh, but this is what it looks like all the way around. Um, which I wanted drippy. I wanted it to be more covered here, but the lip kind of screwed me over a bit. But that's okay. And then I wanted to add a wax right here. So, don't know how this is going to go, really. Or if it's going to even go at all. I want to add it here and this, it might not it might not go I might see I might just maybe I need to say screw it and don't do it or maybe just do it on the top put another like red on top and do that or should I leave it I might be ruining it now I don't know right there yeah I'm gonna do it screw it screw it screw it screw it screw it do it real quick before I change my mind need to do it real quick ah Let me see, because I want it bleeding down like blood too, that's why. Enough. So I got a little bleeding heart. What do we think about it? I wanted to put it there, not necessarily where I wanted it, but because I wanted it higher, but that lip was going to be a problem. But I think I kind of like it. Looks, it does look like a little bit of a bleeding heart. Um, but yeah. So that's my Witcher Potion for Black Blood. I might go over this with a, a little thin Sharpie to kind of make the print pop a bit more. And then I'll show you some shots of it afterwards. But other than that, I hope you liked this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.